Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a manga shopping video. So we're on our way to Books Kino Kunio. So here we are at the manga section. And Orange is a series I always seem to just pick up because it is one I'm definitely interested in reading in the future. So I'm just currently looking at the different shelves and I love seeing all these shelves stocked up especially Spy Family as you can see here just have all the volumes definitely because of the anime so definitely gives me a reason to pick them up just because they're all so readily available and I do love the anime so. here we're just looking at more shelves even more Shikamori, Shaman King, Sakamoto Days you can see in the corner and then some romance on this side, Skip and Loafer, Skippy. Then we got Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun, The Wolf Boy is Mine. And actually, by the same author, we have those Not So Sweet Boys, Volume 7, which is the one I actually need to complete this series. Lots of Toilet Bound very excited for the box set Tokyo Ghoul and actually True Beauty which I'm surprised to see printed I did not know that was printed which had Atelier lots of those actually and the way of the her house husband as you can see and then here we have lots of Yona unfortunately there isn't that many of the earlier volumes and the ones I need so didn't pick up any Yona but it was always nice to see now I'm just walking and looking through. And something I noticed was that Man in His Cab Volume 5 had 5 printed on the spine this time because the earlier volumes did not. So that definitely reminds me that I need to pick this series up because I absolutely adore it. It's so cute. And then we had the King's Beast Volume 8 which was the next one I needed. Comey Can't Communicate, haven't picked that up in a while surprisingly. Got look back, same mangaka that did Chainsaw Man. So this store has actually expanded their manga section. So now everything has been moved. So it was kind of like looking at this store as if it was my first time, which was honestly really nice. Hence why you just see a lot of repeats of just me looking back and forth because I was just like looking at everything and seeing all the new titles, all the new releases. So much manga has been released. See, we have all the popular shonen, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaguya Sama. And then they actually had Kaiju number 8 volume 4, but unfortunately not volume 3. Otherwise, I probably would have picked it up. And then here's the light novel section and the LGBTQ section, which we always love looking at. Just casually browsing. We have some given. I see my love mix up, one I want to pick up. Speaking of what I want to pick up, Puppy Love is one that I've been meaning to get because it looks so cute. It is definitely one of the Tokyo Pop titles I want to pick up in the future. They had volume 5 of Whisper Me A Love Song, one I need to pick up because if you didn't know it's my favourite Geo. A Geo title I am interested in getting, it looks really interesting but unfortunately quite expensive. And then they had How Do We Relationship Volume 7, but I'm so upset because they didn't have Volume 6, otherwise I would have definitely picked it up. <sighs> I wish they did because I love that series so much. And then here is all the light novels. And... The main reason why I wanted to come was to pick up the fourth volume of Heaven's Official Blessing because I absolutely love the novels and I just could not wait. 
more done maze down there light novels is definitely something i want to get more into in the future so i'm hoping in the new year i can pick some up and try some new ones instead of just sticking to manga here's like more the explicit manga and here is one I definitely want to pick up, Tales of the Kingdom, purely because it's by Asumika Nakamura, my favorite mangaka. And then here's a new shoujo that I've heard praise for, so definitely want to pick that up and it was really nice to see in store. And actually next to it they had Vampire Dormitory, which is one I definitely need to continue um if you saw my reading log i had some mixed opinions with volumes one to three but honestly it wasn't that bad and it seemed promising enough for me to continue and then here they had some manhwas this is one i definitely want to pick up i have never read it before because i've been holding off since i saw there were prints so i definitely want to get into that in the future They had Nana, but unfortunately, they didn't have any of the volumes I wanted. Oh, uh, this one I've never heard of, but it just seemed so, so, so interesting, just purely from the cover, and I definitely want to look more into that. And here is a brand new section of just manga where they have expanded it. So it was so cool just seeing all of this manga. Just so much. It, I was like in heaven, honestly. They had some blue period. I just finished the first arc. Amazing. Here is my favorite manhwa. So seeing it printed in English was like a dream. And I definitely need to pick that up. Here we had Demon Slayer, lots of Chainsaw Man, of course, with the anime. Had some Death Note. Here is one I actually have read, however, I will not be picking up the English prints because I actually dropped it. I did not enjoy it that much. Cheeky Brat, one I always pick up and one I always say that I need to get, but I just, I'm just waiting for more volumes and then I'm planning on just getting them and then doing a nice binge read. And then here are some of the graphic novels, which has also been moved. And now we are on our way to the Japanese section because we know how much I just love browsing there and just looking at all of the Japanese manga. But before that, something I noticed was that they had this whole Studio Ghibli section of just all this merch. Unfortunately, it was very expensive, but it was really nice to look at. And here's the newly released Japanese volumes. So they had volume 30 of Tokyo Revengers, I need to get the rest, and I didn't pick it up, but Jujutsu Kaisen, volume, the new volume, the cover looks amazing. And then here are some of the novels. And then here is more manga. In the clear, Moonlit Dusk has some of the prettiest covers, and I have seen the English um, print, so I definitely need to get that eventually. They had a man and his cat I just see in the back, so cute. And one anime I've been obsessed with lately is Blue Lock, so I definitely need to pick up the manga, but I'm just waiting for more releases. But it was so cool just to see all these Japanese volumes. And then here are the art books. The Sasaki Miyano one. And then here's one that I've never seen before but really interests me. It's like just moments of a couple. And that seems so cute. So I definitely want to get that. 
and also the Sasaki Miyano one because look at the art. It's so stunning. Here is an artist I actually follow on Twitter, so that's another art book. I am planning on getting more art books in the new year. That's like one of my new year's resolution is to pick up more art books. Unfortunately, our magazine section is really weak in comparison to ones I've seen in America and the US, but it's okay. Then here, of course, they had a display for Blue Lock just purely because of the anime, but if I could, I would get them because ugh, they're so much cheaper than the English volumes and they look so nice. And then, of course, I'm just browsing through the shoujo section. Here is one I actually picked up recently, a condition called Love Volume 10 with the special edition. You can check my previous haul for that. I just love seeing all the titles. And this is one that looked very familiar, the art. I'm not sure where, but I don't know, it just really piqued my interest. Just super therapeutic, just looking at all these volumes. And then here we had the BL section. Veil seems like such a pretty like manga series. Just the covers alone are stunning. And I've seen like the magazine covers and everything. So this is like one I'm planning on reading eventually because how can I not? And here I was just looking at the Heaven's Official Blessing merch because why wouldn't I? If it wasn't so expensive, I would get them because look how cute these acrylic stands are. And then we have some of the Chinese manga. Here's one I actually have the art book for, but I've actually never read the manga, just only watched the anime. So maybe, maybe I'll read that. And then, of course, looking at more Japanese volumes. I heard Yotsuba is really good if you're beginning at learning Japanese, just because it's really simple. And then right beneath, Moriarty. Love seeing. Definitely need to get the rest of the Moriarty volumes in English. And then, of course, the Tokyo Re Revengers display. How could I not? There's so many side stories and just other volumes I need to pick up. So I just need to get them all. But love seeing that in store. This single cosplay alone makes me want to read Dress Up Darling because it looks really nice. I still can't believe the series is ongoing. I just do not like it at all. Here we had some slam dunk. Here is one that's getting printed in English and I'm going to be picking it up because it definitely does seem interesting and the art is stunning. It's just so cool seeing all these titles that we may never get in English. Here we had Demon Slayer, lots of it actually. Kaiju number eight just right underneath there was the apothecary diaries i wish i noticed that when i was filming that and then kingdom i'm pretty sure which is very popular i know a lot of people want that one printed in english attack on titan we were robbed of the black spines i'm just saying I 
cannot wait to read this honestly it seems super interesting and if it's by the manga of chainsaw man i have very high hopes but anyway we are now walking away from the japanese section because i wanted to look at the art books the mxtx art books and i was completely blind but behind that section was actually another manga section so here we had the english prince of blue lock and oh, the temptation to buy them was so strong but i held off because i want to watch the anime before reading it but oh, i was so tempted a lot of barakamon which seems really cute and wholesome assassination classroom akira they had the abandoned empress which i heard had like mixed reviews so i'm not sure if i want to pick it up but the art does look nice and i heard the father daughter relationship is really cute so maybe and then we're just doing one quick look through the shelves again because why not honestly i just i love it lots of solo leveling i don't know if i'll pick up the physicals but i probably will just read it online because a lot of friends have recommended it to me the volumes were so much thinner i was not expecting that but i do still want to pick it up but man that price and we are done and i just got a frappe so now we are at home and i'm going to be showing you guys a haul of everything i got the first thing i got was the king's beast volume 8 i had volume 7 but i had withheld from reading it until i got volume 8 so seeing this in store was a surprise but a very nice surprise so i cannot wait to read volume 7 and 8 which i heard answers a lot of questions so that's super exciting And then, by no surprise, I of course picked up those Not So Sweet Boys Volume 7, the final volume I needed, so now I can do a nice binge read of 1 to 7 and make a conclusive thought about it because I did enjoy the first two, but I just never read the rest, so that's very exciting. And the main star is, of course, Heaven's Official Blessing, the fourth volume. The main reason why I even went on this trip because i just could not after the cliffhanger from volume 3 so i'm super excited to read it very excited to see why that was the cover you know mm -hmm. so yeah cannot wait and each volume just gets better and better so i'm super excited and just look how pretty it is seven seas did an amazing job on printing these and i'm just so incredibly happy honestly just look at them oh my gosh they're so cute so yeah so that is everything i got from this shopping trip thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye